in part three of The Planet Traveler, we visit the abandoned school of Amboy. 22 years have passed since a child walked through its hallways. Most of the rooms are now ransacked. And although the place has been forgotten, there still seems to be some sort of presence here. That presence can be felt when you walk through its rooms. Some so creepy, it will make the hair on your arm stand up. Everything will be examined, ranging from the evil trees that are outside to the beer bottles in the gymnasium. I will examine every wall and search for answers to that decade-long question. Is Amboy School haunted? The first time that I visited the town of Amboy, I really wanted to explore Amboy School. After not successfully gaining access that day, the next time I visited, I was forced to take action on my own. I won't go into specific details, but instead, I'll leave the logistics to your own imagination. The place was vast. I wasn't exactly sure where to start, so I decided to walk towards the structure nearest me. I immediately gravitated towards the creepy looking trees. Many of the buildings looked as if there had been a murder there, and some of the rooms gave me a feeling of creepiness. I moved on to some of the more interesting buildings on the property. To my left was what remained of the school playground. I could see remnants of monkey bars and basketball hoops. The ceiling looked like a bed stained in piss, and the roof was completely gone, which provided easy access for everyone's favorite bird, the pigeon. The place was disgusting. Although the doors were shackled together, I could peep through the window and see that there were books scattered throughout the hallways. The next room was a lot cleaner. I found some books that hadn't been pooped on and decided to check one for a published date. It looked like the book had been printed in 1999. I found it strange that some of the doors were locked while others were open. If I wanted to explore this building, I would have to go through the poop infested room. Instead, I decided to move on to the next building.
This structure looked promising, and the door was wide open. I approached cautiously. Before going in, I remembered that I just got a new app on my phone and wanted to try it out. The app was designed for detecting paranormal activity. There were all sorts of garbage and debris scattered throughout the building, including this Dasani water bottle. I must admit, seeing the rim and backboard made me reminisce about the days of my youth when I dreamed of being a basketball star. Then I thought, for old time's sake, why not do a quick layup using that water bottle to prove that I still had it. I thought to myself, that's a great idea. And so I went for it. Jackson in for a quick layup! Hey, I never said I was any good. always try to leave the place a little nicer than I found it. What the hell? That was my first hint of paranormal activity. I moved in for a closer look.
I was picking up some sort of strange activity from behind the door. Looks like something is definitely in here. And according to my app, it looks like he went into the girls' room. Might not be such a good idea to go in there. But I've made a few bad decisions a time or two. And this just might be one of them because I'm going in. Like most of the rooms in the school, this one was ransacked, and there was a hole in the ceiling which provided access for the birds. My app was indicating some sort of presence was here. I attempted to get the gate open, but was unsuccessful. I couldn't tell what was obstructing it. I began to apply a little more force, but the gate still didn't seem to move. Then I decided to try something else. Free from my entrapment, I attempted to identify and explain what just happened. Overstayed my welcome. So I'm gonna show myself out because it's getting really creepy. 